Hi everyone, our retired meteorologist Pat Prokop. The day is Saturday, August the 10th. Boy, it is hot out there and the temperatures are going to be in the middle 90s for the next couple of days. And Hi uh, Pat, this is Wally. Hey Wally. I have a question. What's up? What's going on in the tropics? That's a good question. Yeah, okay, let's, let's look into that. All right, let's take a look at the tropics. So uh, looking at the National Hurricane Center, there we have a tropical wave uh, over in the central tropical Atlantic Ocean. And it's expected to uh, uh, get a little bit better organized over the next several days. But where is this system going? And what is the next name on the list? Well, the next name on the list is Ernesto. Uh, will Ernesto be uh, a problem? Well, I don't think so, but let's take a look at the models anyway. And first of all, there's the satellite imagery showing the large area of uh, cloudiness and uh, convection thunderstorms developing in and around that area of, uh, of the tropical wave. Here's another tropical wave coming off the African coast right now. And another one in the um, Eastern Caribbean Sea. I'm not worried about this one and I'm not worried about this one, but this one we're gonna take a look at. So let's go to the computer models. And this is the GFS, the uh, Global Forecast System, the U.S. model. And here is the system uh, over here in the Central Tropical Atlantic Ocean. And let's put this into motion. And as you can see, uh, it tries to get itself better organized as it goes over the Lesser Antilles Islands. This is uh, early Tuesday next week. And then it be, uh, goes over the Virgin, or just south of the Virgin Islands, uh, south of Puerto Rico and over Hispaniola, and then curves off toward the north northwest and then it occurs more to the north and then northeast staying well east of the southeast united states might brush with the northeast united states and the eastern provinces of canada uh, that'll be uh, a, a, about 10 days from now so uh, right now i'm not really concerned about this particular storm here let's take a look at a couple of other models and the uh, uh, the Canadian Meteorological Center, well, you know, they get hurricanes, as you know, up here in the uh, eastern provinces there. Uh, let's put this into motion, and once again, there's the storm right there. It's getting a little bit better organized according to this model. And then it moves it just to the north of the U.S. Virgin Islands and curves it to the north, and then curves it more toward the north-northeast, passing to the east of the maritime provinces of North Canada northeastern Canada. So again, nothing of a great concern there. What about the hurricane models? Well, one of them uh, has a run on it right now, the H wharf, and it's uh, invest 98L. Let's put this in the motion. And there's the storm in the center of your picture and the map moves underneath it, uh, keeps the storm in the center there. It moves it just to the north of the Virgin Islands and then curves it off toward the north, keeping it well east of the uh, southeast coast of the United States. So I'm not really overly concerned about that. So Wally, does that help your question? Oh, all right then. Thanks for the update. All right. Let's uh, thanks say bye Pat. to Wally. See you later. Now. Anyway, we'll be seeing more of Wally, I think, in the future. All right, let's go into the other maps. The other co great concern now, other than the temperatures, and well, it's August in Savannah, so we know temperatures are hot. Let's go to the, the river stages because, boy, they have been extremely high. We've been breaking records on the Kanuchi River and the Ogeechee River. So looking at the Ogeechee River at Eden, or near Eden, and it crested this morning at around 17.97, or almost 18 feet, and the... Uh, the crest several years ago when the water ran over the bridge at Morgan's Bridge uh, was at, uh, I believe, uh, 15 feet. So it's two feet above that, almost three feet above that. And sure enough, the water is over the bridge. What about a little bit further down river? Here it is over at Ellabelt, and that's Morgan's Bridge right there. And the record level there was at 15.7, and it has crested above that. And right now it's at the top of the crest at 17.5 and the water is definitely flowing over Morgan's Bridge. All right, a little bit further downstream, what about the, um, the Yogichi River at uh, Kings Ferry on US 17 going into the Chatham County, Bryan County line and there it is. Uh, the record high was crest at 7.2. This is a, a fairly new gauge so there's not many years of record keeping going on with this. But anyway, it is up to um, 10.1 one five feet and that puts the water over King's Ferry 
uh, the bridge on US 17. It won't get over the bridges on the uh, interstates, but uh, uh, the river has crested. It might go up a little bit more at Kings Ferry, but it has crested there. What about some of the other rivers? Well, we got the uh, uh, Savannah River at Clyle. Uh, it's high, but it's not e extremely high. Uh, and it, it, it's cresting right now at about 15.87 feet. Aldemaha River near Doctortown, that's always a, a, an important gauge out there. And it's well below the major flood stage there. And it has already crested and coming down. So no flooding expected on the Aldemaha River other than timberland. And looking at the river at Atkinson, uh, and it, it, it it's at crest right now. And it's uh, uh, into the... Uh, approaching the major flood stage, but it's at crest right now at 20.24 feet. So, and it looks like it's going to be remaining at that level and then start coming down uh, early next week. So, uh, keeping an eye on the rivers, they are very high, but it looks like we're at the worst of it right now. All right, going back to my website, here we are, savannapat.name. That's my website, and you can get a lot of great weather information right there. And there's the forecast, and it's calling for a typical mid-August forecast now for our area with fair to partly cloudy in the morning becoming partly cloudy in the afternoon hot and humid with the uh, uh, temperatures in the mid 90s the heat index is going to be in the 105 to 110 degrees over the next several days uh, before the thunder showers uh, develop uh, we're, we're going to be seeing about a 50 percent probability of thunder showers uh, in the afternoon hours a little bit better chance to the west of interstate 95 but then uh, uh, all in all it's going to be relatively just basically hot and humid so keeping an eye on the tropics so i'm going to thank uh, wally there for that little uh tidbit of information i guess uh questions and so forth and well, once again in the middle of august usually the hurricane threat season around here is I mean, the greatest threat these hurricane season june 1st through november 30th but the greatest threat portion of the season is about august 15th through around october 15th that's when we see the highest rate of tropical storm development and uh, this year is going to be actually an exception it's going to be very high rate of uh, tropical storm development during that time period all right well i want to thank all my um, supporters for this uh, channel thank you very much uh, i've been uh, we just saw a lot of their names coming up on the screen and uh, i appreciate all that support and uh, with that being said i'll see you later